Welcome back, everybody. You may have heard in the news recently that an Iolani and University of Nevada football player went missing, a tragic accident on Lake Tahoe. Mark Ma was with a bunch of friends when they ran into trouble on their stand-up paddle boards. He decided to go off and get help. Sadly, he never returned. But his story, while tragic, also brought his family in tune with the whole other side of him, and in the end, has them feeling both love and pride. A former Iolani and University of Oregon golf star, Matt Ma is one of the most liked and most talented golfers in the state. Matt, you played hundreds of competitive rounds in your life. Was this one of the more challenging rounds you've ever had to play? Uh, you know, uh, maybe emotionally, yes, but I was pretty at ease out there. Uh, I was pretty, it was pretty peaceful. Matt almost didn't play in this year's Manoa Cup. He pulled out of the event the day he learned his brother had gone missing. It was three days before the tournament teed off. But two days later, a change of heart, thanks in part to his employer, mentor, and friend. You know, if he's gone, he's gone. Uh, he went out trying to help his team, team members or his friends, and he, he basically went out being a hero. And I, I think your brother, Mark, would have appreciated it. Played and, and, and it's a good release, you know, um, to forget about what happened and to maybe play this tournament in memory and, you know, dedicate it to his brother. The 2012 Manoa Cup champion says the comfort he found on the golf course in the first round of this year's event came from learning just how much his younger brother was loved and how many lives he touched. Got calls and texts from and messages from kids kids that are still in playing high school football at Yolani. And I'm like, I don't know who these kids are, you know, but they all, they're all they all reaching out. And, and it's just, I didn't realize that his reach was so far, so broad. And, you know, and that, you know, actually I'm not surprised. Because of their age difference, 12 years between them, and both going away to college at different times, they were separated by both years as well as the miles between them. In some ways, you've learned more about Mark in the last five days than you did in the last 10, 15 years, true? I, I really have. Um, you know, Mark was always, you know, to me, Mark was always a little little kid, you know, a little kid with a baby face stuck in a man's body, you know. Uh, he was always my baby brother, you know. Now he's my hero. He, I've learned so much. I've probably learned more from Mark in, you know, uh, in his 20 years than I have taught him, and I'm 12 years older. Matt was often more than just a big brother. At times, he was a father figure. For Matt, like, yeah, he's his older brother, but he's also, you know, tried to shape him to be a better man. And, and now, if you ask my husband, it's like Mark has taught him so much more than he ever feels like he had ever taught Mark. I always knew he liked to help people, but he helped everybody. Everybody that come, came in contact with him, just you know, everybody said the same thing about him and that um, you know again I always saw him as a little irritating kid that you know just but then again I knew he had another side of him another half of him that was you know different you know and I, and I just found out just how tremendous it was it was unbelievable and knowing that other side and even more so learning Mark died a hero trying to save others also eases the pain it got rough out there uh, they got stranded, they were in distress, and uh, from what I heard this morning, he, he couldn't paddle in with the, with the waves and the wind, because I heard the wind was up to like 40 miles an hour. So he ditched the board and tried to swim the rest of the way. Obviously, he didn't make it, um, but you know, he passed uh, trying to help his friends, and that's really what he did. On day one of the Manoa Cup, one of his playing partners, defending champion Tyler Ota, gave Matt this hat with Mark's name on it, along with the phrase, Mark would go, a reference to Eddie Aikau, who also lost his life trying to save others. He passed uh, trying to help his friends, and that's really what he did. Um, you know, a bunch of, again, a bunch of his football uh, teammates from high school reached out, and they all said, you know, he was always there for them, and, and that's the way he lived. 
that's what he wanted to do and that's what he did. And, and he went down doing what he would always do for anybody. Also adding to the Ma's comfort, knowing Mark was a man of faith. The letters B-I-G on his hat, standing for Believe in God. But he actually recently uh, got baptized. He's actually, you know, there's three of us, my, and we have a sister in the middle. Um, he was the only one that wasn't baptized. And um, he always asked why I had I, you know. When he went up there, he found the church that he liked. You know, he went there, you know, he did, you know, um, Bible study, I believe, and did, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff. And um, ended up getting baptized. The smile on his face uh, said it all when he when he did get baptized. It was unbelievable, and uh, he just had this glowing smile. And if you ever knew him, he had this he had this cheek to cheek, you know, ear to ear smile. Um, and he was probably even bigger that day, more than ever. I mean, he was a great family member, great brother, um, great brother-in-law, um, and he's just. We just want everybody to know that he was a great, great person and we we're going to miss him very, very dearly. He, he gave it all for the school. He gave it all for his friends and his teammates and his family. So. But that's who he was and that's how he, that's how he went down. So.